Hey guys, it's Hells. I just want to give you a quick video on how to use weak orders, how to install it, how to set it up, how to import strings, and then give you a quick tutorial on how to make a simple one yourself so you can start playing with this. So what you want to do is you want to go to either CurseForge or I use WoW Up in order to, to install my add-ons. You want to look for weak ores, give it an install. Once you've got it installed in the game, just type in slash WA and it opens up weak ores. So here's your weak ores interface. Over here, you're going to have a list of weak ores that you that you're going to make or that you're you're going to get imported as as you go along. And over here, you've got where you can make new weak ores. So first, let me show you how to import a weak ore because that's what a lot of you are going to be doing. So you click on weak or, on import. It's going to give you this big blank screen. Then on the internet, I want you to go to wago.io. That's going to be the database that holds all the weak ores that are available for public use. And if you want to search for something that a streamer on Twitch or YouTube has, usually that's going to be in the description of their video. But we're just going to use the, the database today. Let's look for Beast Cleave. I've got a hunter brought up, so let's go ahead and search for Beast Cleave. And, okay, so there are several beast cleave weak ores that we could choose from i'm going to go ahead and grab this one just the second one in line and it shows me a picture of what it's going to look like and i'm going to click on copy import string it says it's copied so i'm going to go back in the game and on that blank screen right here after we clicked import we've got this we're going to click on it hit Control v it's going to give you a bunch of gibberish that's your string down here it's going to show you that you have got your string imported so you click on import and that's going to finalize that part and here is your weak ore so you can drag this around you can resize it make it however you want and that's going to track beast cleave on my hunter so let me show you how to make your own version of this quite simply so now you know how to import strings so first i want to delete this because Weak ores have to have unique names. So if I have more than one named Beast Cleave, they'd have to be named Beast Cleave 1, Beast Cleave 2, things like that. So let's make our own. Let's go to New Aura. And just to keep it simple, up here we're going to go to Template. So from Template. And I can do text. I can do progress. I can do models. I can do icons. Here's the bars. These bars are what you would use for like your focus bars. But let's go to Progress Texture. I want a nicer one than what we just looked at. I want to go to Default. And I want to go to buffs. And here's my hunter buffs. So I'm going to go to beast cleave. And I get the option to show only if buffed. Always show. Always show. And have it grayed out whenever it's on cooldown. I only want this to show up when I have the buff. So here's the standard one it's going to give me. We'll just move this over here for the moment. So right now. As you can see this is still gray. Just leave that alone. Go up here. You've got progress texture. Here's the uh, foreground texture, background texture, colors, uh, how it changes, the orientation. So what I want to do is go to the texture itself. And you've got these as well as all of these standard with Uyghurs. So I want to go down here to runes because I like how a lot of these look. And I want to click on this one. And that looks nice. I like that one. So, okay, we're going to choose that one. I don't want it to be white. So here's your color. And let's go ahead and start dragging this around. Pick a color that we like. Let's go with just a red. Okay. So now we've got a beast cleave weak aura, but it ticks down. It's red. I don't want it to tick down. So on the orientation... Right here, you've got anti-clockwise, clockwise, right to left, left to right, bottom to top, top to bottom. I'm going to go to anti-clockwise or counterclockwise for those of us. So there you go. So this is going to count down this way now. I'm going to resize this just a bit. Put this up over my shoulder. All right, so hit enter. And close this out. And so I have nothing here now. So how this works is I'm going to grab a target dummy, start shooting at it. And when I pop my beast cleave there it is it's tracking my beast cleave it lets me know when it's up when i need to hit it again to keep it from falling off there you go and then it goes away when you're done so that is a simple weak aura so this is another weak aura i have for beast wrath so 
you know how to download it, how to install it, how to import your strings, whether you get them from a Twitch or YouTube streamer or just by going to wago.io for the week or depository, and how to make basic ones. So go ahead, play with it. Try to make some new ones. Thanks.